Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Java for Testers tutorial, we are going to learn how you can write the data into .txt or CSV file using the Java classes that are available in the Java libraries. So uh, there are classes available to interact with the file or basically read and write data into different sort of file, whether it's, you know, we have already seen how you can read and write data into dot properties file. So Java streams is basically uh, the concept and which provides you a lot of classes available to work with the streams and read and write data uh, into different format into the text file or CSV file or, you know, other sort of files that are available. So we'll understand how you can utilize these classes to write the data into notepad txt and csv file so let me copy this write data demo so this write data demo was to write the data into the properties file so for properties we had specific class properties class but for the notepad we have to use a different class so i'll show you how you can do that so let me copy this and i'll paste it here and I'll say write data to txt and csv. So I'll demo both in the same Java file here. So now the first step is basically, so we are, let me remove this. We are not using file output stream. And so what we need is at the moment, we just need the file writer, okay? So the step one is to create the object of the file writer class, which is exactly same as it was for the other, uh, you know, tutorial, which we used to write the properties or write the data into the properties file. Okay. The next step is that we don't need the properties class because properties class is specific to reading and writing to the properties file. So I'll remove that. Now, the next step is to use or chain this particular file writer object to the buffered writer class so if you go to the documentation we need file writer okay which constructs the file writer given the file to write and then what buffered writer does is it writes text to a character output stream okay so this is the class that is required to write the characters to the actual file so usually in the manual scenario what you do is you basically open the file right you create a file you open the file and then you start writing so similar is the case in the file writer what you are doing is you are creating a file here okay so you are passing the location of the file let me remove this true as of now I, and we are just providing the location where the file needs to be created if the file is already there it will overwrite the data into that particular file but if it is not it is going to create a new file in that particular location now the second step is that we'll start writing right so we'll start we'll basically chain this file writer with the buffered writer so that whatever data we are providing goes into that particular file or you know it's a pipeline between the writing operation to that particular file so the other class is buffered writer and i'll create an object of buffered writer and i'll say new and the buffered writer constructor accepts the reference of your file writer okay so you simply provide the reference of the file writer and that's pretty much it in the second step import buffered writer and the next step is now to basically so this is the these are the only two steps to basically set up or uh, get or set up the connectivity so you create the file and set up the connectivity to that file now the next step is to actually write so step three is to write data and to write the data what you need to do is you just simply need to call the methods in the buffered writer so if you go to the buffered writer class and scroll down you will find a lot of methods that are available and the method is you know you have the write method so you can write the string 
or you know in single character flush is uh, the, the method that flushes the stream and new line writes a line separator okay so let me use the right method here so i'll say we are dot write and i want to write a string into a particular file so i'll provide a string and i'll say cp academy okay and here let me create a test data txt okay and instead of properties so this is the name of the file so i'll say test data txt dot text file right so we are writing it into the text file so change the you know type of the file to txt now when i'll save it the next step is to close so we have written some data into the you know uh, file now step four is to close the file right close the file and to close the file you simply say br dot if you call the close method it will close the file now if i run this and refresh so you'll see test data dot txt has been created and the data that we have provided or want to write into that particular file has been written into the txt file now say for example i change this data to something else and run this again if i open the file you'll see that it replaces the content that was already there in that particular file so in order to append simply file writer as we have seen in the previous tutorial as well you simply use the append argument either true as true to append or don't provide any argument so it by default is false so if i provide this argument as true now the, if i run this and open the file you will see you will see that rcv academy online has been appended to the same file right so this is how you will write to the particular file so create an object of the file writer class and then chain it with the buffered writer in the two steps now there is another class as well which is the file class so say for example you don't want to specify the details into the buffered writer what you can do is you can pass the reference of the file okay so what i can do is i can simply cut it from here and i can create an object of the file class so i'll say file f is equal to new file and provide the location of the file or the location where you want to create the file okay so in this case if for example i want to create test data one dot txt so i'll this file doesn't exist at all so this will create a new file right import this file which is from java.io and pass the reference of this file in here into the file writer okay and this will do exactly the same thing as we did right so if i refresh this you will see file data or data uh, test data one has been created successfully and has that particular data so either use file writer and buffered writer and pass the details of the file here itself or create an object of the file class and create a file there and then in the file writer so you in the file writer you change this particular file and then in the buffered writer you change the reference of the file writer here right and then write and close the file now say for example now you want to write the data into the csv file how you can do it simply change the extension to csv all right and now we know that csv is comma separated so what we need to do is we simply need to whenever we are writing we just append a comma after the content right so and we are appending the uh, text into the particular file so let me run it so if i now run this program or let me also uh, print a statement which says written successfully all right if i run this so we can 
see the message written successfully and if I refresh now you will see csv file dot created and because I ran this twice you will see that it has already included the text into the csv file now if I run again let's run again two times and open the csv file refresh it so you'll see that it has been added this text has been added four times into the csv file now adding to the csv file you won't be doing like this so most probably what you will be doing is you will be using the loops to add multiple data into the csv so say for example i want to add this content five times or ten times let me add it with the for loop so i'll define a for loop so i'll say for int i is equal to one and then i is less than 10 and then increment i and within this loop i will write this particular text okay and if i run this now this particular text will be added 10 times so if i open this file let me close and again open you'll see that it has been this text has been added comma separated 10 time into the particular file if I open it in plain text I'll say text editor you will see that the commas have been added and this is how you will write the data into the comma separated file and the text file so to reiterate the writing of the data into the text or CSV file in Java is really easy you just need to utilize three classes so file file writer and buffered writer okay and you have to chain the references of the file to file writer and then file writer to buffered writer and then if you're writing the data into the text file right you just use the extension as dot txt if you're writing the data into dot csv file use the extension as dot csv and include this comma for the comma separated values in the csv file so that's all about the writing data into the text and csv file into any java program this will be utilized a lot in selenium automation so please go through and get yourself comfortable in writing the data into text and csv file so that's all for this tutorial hope you like it please do share and subscribe and thank you for watching